Okay, where was done? Where was I going? I'm going to Dungeon Four. Is everything? Yeah, everything's working. I think. I hope. Uh, no. My TV screen's blank. Good times. Let's see. I'm gonna try and stream off, play off of OBS then, till my TV decides it wants to come back on. There we go. Okay, TV's back. I think... I think I'm going to have to send my NES in. I'm going to have to call the guy. Why can't I use that? There we go. <clears throat> well, I've got it here on my laptop on OBS but there's just a touch of delay there which is not great for these games <laughs> but no I, I think <laughs> no um, I have no money that's what I ended the stream on a minute ago was farming for rupees. Um, so, yeah. I noticed the other day... Well, I've noticed it ever since I got it back from having the high definess mod put in it. Like, whenever that happened. Every once in a while, game just crash. For no reason. Like, you went and just yank the car the cartridge out of the slot even though you know you didn't do anything you're just sitting there um and the other day it uh it had garbled graphics on it and it wasn't I looked it up it wasn't like your normal the cartridge isn't seated properly and making good contact with the pins inside it wasn't that it was like it was like graphical glitches that evidently happen when uh, like the CPU or the PPU has come loose a little bit I guess um, and I've noticed today when people walk by the graphics glitch a little bit so I'm wondering if the CPU and the PPU isn't just exactly seated just right. It needs maybe soldered again. Crimson Seraph following me. Hi, Jondon. How you doing, Jondon? Or is this just like a super delayed delayed follow notification from years ago and John is not actually here bat hang on Well, that's good. Are you living it well? Or is is it just like all the rest of us? You're just trying to make it work. <laughs> well, tell you what. You picked a good time to watch because... Earlier, I farmed for about 30 minutes for 250 rupees just to go buy the blue ring. So you can, you're, you're, you, you, you and John are in here at the right time to uh, <clears throat> actually catch some action.
I have two Johns in my chat. Although I never call you John, Jondon. It's a fact. By the way, John, Jondon, Jondon, John. <laughs> Oh no, I... I didn't put all of the old IRC commands in whenever I get to a point where I have commands or bots or whatever. I need... Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Yeah. Welcome to the chat that uses 2002 keyboard control 2002 chat keyboard controls while playing games from 1982. I'll make my intro the dial-up sound. And then at the end of it some old boy will be there and go, "Welcome." But you know what? It sure makes a difference when you know what you're doing in this game instead of forgetting. Dude, it's not it's not a 90s or 2000s reference unless you make it an America Online reference. Money. Yo. Me and John. And actually, I think a few of our friends were hardcore Trillion users. Back in the day. Why use 5,000 programs when you can use one? Do I have that right? That was you, wasn't it, John? You were in on that. Or was that me and Chrono? Or Chrono was in on it with us. You know... <laughs> well... I'm not... I don't think... Was I the one that found Trillion or was that Chrono? Don't eat my shield. <laughs> and we were never sure if he actually wanted to, uh... We were never sure if he wanted to, uh, take over the world or not. Trillion sounds like something Josh would use. Trillion sounds like something all of us would use. <laughs> that's, that's not to be condescending to Josh. Anything. 
Well, how far did you say you got, John? You said you didn't go too far in it, did you? Oh. Troll door. Sad face. I need my boomerang. That's right, that's what you told me. You said you did beat it. Okay, so when we played, we being my mom and I, when I was a wee bitty babby, um, Link to the Past, you know, it gives you the, 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 it, it doesn't call it deaths though, it calls it games played. Um, uh, Of course, we didn't know what it was. We were too dumb to figure out it, it meant deaths that we had died. Um, but my brother came into town and he saw it and he just started cackling. It was like 222 deaths or something like that. He was like, man, y'all are bad. He was like, yeah. You got a... You got a 45... 45 year old woman and a child trying to play the game. We had good times though. Ah, anti fairy. You know what? It dawns on me. that I'm not limited by this moat in the middle of the floor anymore. And that I've got a ladder to just get across it. Let's see, I want to... Dude, Galaxy... That was the first... Of course, I guess Super Mario World... Kind of, well, actually, I guess technically... Brothers 2 Japan slash Lost Levels got the hard level started in Mario. But Galaxy is the first game that I remember where it was almost like a punishment for um, getting to that point in a game. Dude, I would say... My my death counter. Talking about FPSs, the only one that I've ever bothered to play through Halo One. I would hate to see what my death count was, and I played it on easy. Is that? I enjoyed my time with Halo, but those games are just not. They were not built for my brain. Let's see, what have I got going on here? So I've been... Done that, and I've done that, and I've done that. Uh, I've done all three of those, and done that one. Okay, I'm on the right path. I'm going the right way. Yo! Can I get as epic of a bomb plant on this dude as I did his cousin? That's a negative. Please. Walk into the waterfall. I already did, but thank you. Okay, I'll keep that one. Don't run. 
<laughs> Man. I think the grunts are my favorite part of Halo. Sweet, tasty water. No, that's fun too, but their their attitude, the 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 grunts' attitude, just made me laugh. It... Please. I'm going to regret not having the money to buy a red potion. I haven't gotten the item out of here yet, have I? Um, oh, oh, it's bad. Oh, thanks, John. <laughs> I See, I already forgot again that I had the item. <laughs> Please. <sighs> All right, guys. One and a half hearts. Can I beat the three or four headed dragon that when you kill the dragon heads that also turn into ghosts when you kill the dragon heads can I beat him with one and a half hearts John didn't don't lie to John okay this mic is really hot guys I need some help here I'm going to be adjusting my mic level because I'm actually about to clip it on my mixer so I need to know how is the audio mix? Is the game too loud? I am too soft? Okay. I'll split the difference. How is this? Am I still too soft? Peachy? Because the other thing I can do, too, is turn the game audio down to match it. Yeah, but that's good, though. That's a good soft, right? It means you're properly caring for your baby's skin or something. I don't know anything about child rearing. That's it. That's it. It's dead. I'm dead. I'm already dead. Nope, there. Oh. <laughs> so. You can believe this if you want to or not. But it's the complete truth. I took that last bullet because I thought maybe my shield might protect me. That was an incorrect assumption. Please. NESB dropping A button presses. <sighs> How much is a red potion? Was it red potion 68, blue potions 30? Of all that is good. 
fine. Turds. No, I'd say I'd say clean would be that's an everlasting project. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I do want fairies. I have gone this entire game so far without firing a single arrow. Because you have to buy arrows with your rupees, but your rupees are your arrows. Oh, that's not... Listen! I know there's some kind of global counter thing that you can manipulate to get the drops you want, but I don't know anything about it. That was scary. If I die here, this time, we're going to buy potions, which, yeah, I'm going to die before I even get there. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Good luck. About what I figured. Game over. Gotta go to go. I will save my game. right here I was hanging right here waiting for you to come get me let's make sure to put heaps of to be fair I really want the red potion but I don't want to spend time farming rupees uh I understand their reasoning for doing it then. Where's all the stuff to farm? Because I guess games were easier to make back then, but they also knew people probably wouldn't buy a whole lot of them, so they had to make it seem like it was worth your money. Does that make any sense? <clears throat> like now they just make a huge old game and just load you down with health and lives and you still don't feel like you got cheated alright was it 60 or 68 I've already forgotten. It was 40 and 68. 
Sylvan Moor. Jondon, are you still around? Did you ever beat this, 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 did you, yeah. Did you do this, Zelda? <laughs> What the actual heck? No hearts, no fairies, no nothing. And then out here, two fairies spawn right next to each other. Like it's no big deal. Technically, he doesn't want to either, but he does it all the time. I walked right into that. Buy medicine before you go. Ba -da -ba -boom. Rupee. <laughs> Boom, ba, da, da. All right, straight to the boss. What is wrong with my controller? That was weird. to the waterfall. By the way, 
now that I've beaten Dungeon 4 and I've had a moment to think about things. Not that we've actually done anything and put it out. Besides me and Derek. Which is not a jab. Jondon Crimson Seraph, who was just in here, is one of my fellow nerds of the couch peeps. If we ever do anything, he's one of the people in there doing one of the things. So far, it's just kind of a clan name. But we don't play any online games together, so it's not really that either. <laughs> it's just... It's just something we do for fun. We call ourselves for fun. We don't do it. We call it. Uh, so I found world... world... level 5 on accident earlier, but I don't remember where it is. I want to go get this heart over here anyway. Ouch. You know, I wonder. Can I get... Can I get the magical sword yet? I think I think the one that I've got right now is based on how much health you have. After level 5. You care to look it up right fast? You don't have to if you don't want to, but this is not a dungeon. Right. I'm going to get the last overworld heart container. Now I have all the hearts in the game. Oh yeah. In every Zelda game. Here I am. So it's up. I think it's up in here somewhere. Why? Why? All right. Yes. Teamwork. Okay. Um. I'm going to look up. Let's see. What did I want on here? Uh, NES maps. Zelda. Okay. Legend of Zelda. Labeled maps. Hey, look. Magical sword. Level six. Um. Oh, if I'd have given that woman money, she'd have told me the path. Level six. That's level nine. I'm not ready for that. Three. Two. Oh, it's way over there.
Okay. I'm not 100% confident that I can make it there without dying. But. <laughs> All right. We're going to see if I can make it. Boop. Doodly doo. Doodly doo. Doodly so many lionels. As much as I hate fighting them, I love what they did with the Lionels in Breath of the Wild. Where they're almost a sort of mini boss. shoot crap. And I appreciate you very much, John. <laughs> boulders. More boulders. Ouch. something that I've always kind of wondered. <gasps> they made a Super Mario All-Stars, which was basically all the Mario games remastered. Remastered. And put on the Super Nintendo. They also did that for Ninja Gaiden. Although those were less remastered like, they were just barely changed. Why didn't Nintendo do that for Zelda 1 and Zelda 2? I need a Famicom controller. Does he really? I didn't know that. Was it a failure though that back then? I mean, it's divisive, you know. That's I understand that, but I don't know that I'd go as far to call it a failure. Dig Dogger hates certain kind of sound. I don't have a Famicom controller though, so it doesn't matter. Dodongs. Dodongs. I thought BS Zelda was just the 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 satellite thing. I thought it was just like random quests around Link to the Past Hyrule. I didn't think it was Zelda One. But it was 
it was on the satellite thing, right? I'm right on that. That's where it originated from. Right, places. <laughs> check into that. I would love to play that. So, I'm just low-key here at the boss already. I need the whistle. Where's the whistle at? I bet it's in this dungeon. <laughs> but doesn't it make it, like, considerably easier? Because Dig Dogger is the big eyeball in the middle of a circle, right? Perfectly inaccessible. bombs for me. Big Dogger hates certain kinds of sounds. Please give me a bomb. Please game give me Specifically, six bombs, please.
See, I wonder if there's a shop nearby. Sounds like this when a game shark or a ge well game genie to be period appropriate. Sounds like this when a game genie would be nice. Infinite bomb code. single bomb. see if I can do the boss without it. I don't know that I can. But the bomb farming is clearly not happening. Just a trap room. Oh my goodness. Brr. Well, that was a waste. From a time perspective, strategic speedrun strats death. So, where am I going? Going up. If I don't die. I'm so upset. <laughs> Dunk. Yeah, just kill me. <sighs> Here's the deal. I need a restroom break. I'll be back in just a minute.
and back. <sighs> I want to look up Dungeon 5. You know what? I'm going to have to get all the way back up there. I got this. Now. Now it's all the way up. Yep. <laughs> Necro's not doing their job. What's that? Dude. Alright. I need bombs. Still. <clears throat> you know, if that were the problem, that'd make it a lot easier. <clears throat> it's not a bomb. <laughs> Please give me bombs. I know Dick Dogger hates certain kind of sound. not another way to beat these guys, right? You've got to beat them 
with bombs. <clears throat> John, thanks for coming by and hanging out, man. Enjoyed having you. So, Jondon, y'all just staying in for your Friday night then? I don't waste these like I did the others. Good place to be in. That's not a bomb. <clears throat> Drop a bomb. That's not a bomb. Drop a bomb. Game. Game. I'm so sad. <clears throat> None of the enemies have respawned. That's good. He said, trying to make himself feel better about the situation. Bombs. Bombs, please. More bombs. One more bomb drop, please. One more bomb drop. Maybe the Dodongos didn't spawn. Hey! Where did you go? Did you put the babbies, <clears throat> the second babby to bed? Oh no, you're you're not Jondon, you're Scott. <laughs> Y'all's names are the same color on my screen. I apologize. <clears throat> uh Yeah, I'm tr uh, to answer these questions in order. Scott, yes, level fiving it very poorly. Jondon, no, I still hate them all. <laughs> all right, come here. Eat it. No, that's not a bomb. Eat it. Eat it. 
die. Yes. Now progress can be made. <coughs> More bomb drops. Also, by the way, Jondon, Scott, Scott, Jondon. <gasps> oh dear. Turn. <laughs> I hate the Armos Knights. <clears throat> okay. Scott, you're the one. You brought the bomb drops. Thank yous. I'm gonna try. I don't know that that's gonna happen though. Because World 5 has gone a lot less smoothly than. Level 5 has gone less smoothly than levels 1 through 4 did. The whistle. Praise the Lord. Did you get your headset fixed up, dude? <clears throat> You don't have to use it. I was just asking. It was giving you fits earlier. What was the deal? Just computers being computers? Hopefully you don't have a USB port going bad or something. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be so mad. Didn't need to kill the. I still needed bomb ports. Here, here, here. Jondon's got a phrase for sentences like that. Just old dirty head. <laughs> eh. 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 Why won't it work? Let me through. Okay, I give up. <clears throat> oh, I'm in the map room. <laughs> Oh, John, and you're the one that said it. <laughs> God, dirty head. Diggersby, though. 
Like, I don't know if that guy was being facetious or not. Yeah, um, Scott, I'd be probably... Where's my headphones? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, Discord would be where, where it would be. Bear with me a moment. Discord's gonna be the place. Jondon, uh, thanks for coming out though. I appreciate it, man, greatly. Come out some more if you ever get time. Hey, Jondon, if you haven't left yet, could you stick around just for a second and double check an audio thing for me? Yes, you are Raru. Let's see. Yes, yes. I want to make sure. Monitor only. But I can't hear myself, so okay, never mind then. Well, that's not what I want, though. I want face. All right, how bad? That's way too bad of a lag. I can't deal with that. Uh, okay. Scott, where are you going in Discord? Oh, you're here, okay. Testing one. Scott, can you hear me? can't hear you. Let's see here. Uh, video, voice and video. Input device, Datton. Datton. Hey. Hello. Now hey, you're here. You? It's on my end. What's up, man? I don't know. Jondon. How well can you hear Scott? If at all. Probably too loud. If you can hear me at all, it's probably too loud. You can't hear Scott at all, but he's coming through on desktop audio. Oh, I'm picking up louder than you are. Okay. <laughs> you might need to turn me down. Yeah, Bosh. yeah, you're 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 way hotter than my than my face fader. So let's see. Let me get in here. Open the sound settings. You want to sing harmony on something? <laughs> <laughs> Go get your guitar. Man, I haven't picked that thing up in, since November. It's fine. You it's only have to just strum one chord. That's all we need. <laughs> I, I can play one string, maybe. Did someone file them all down on you? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Martin style? Yeah, exactly. John, and is that any better? <clears throat> yeah, also, John then sings, too. Oh, cool. <laughs> he can sing bass in the quartet. That's awesome. 
All right. We going newfangled? We gonna auto tune it or anything? We're gonna sing like this all day long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, John, and thank you for helping me with the audio thing. <clears throat> You can't hear any background noise, can you? I hear something back there, but I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I can't deal with this. I've got audio coming from everywhere. You got, like, the loop thing going on where it's like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> well, actually, <clears throat> let's see what happens if I mute my TV. No, okay, so I've got, I'd still have... You got that right, buddy. It's a circus. I've still got audio <laughs> leaking out into my desktop. Monitor. Mute your monitor. Whoop, what happened? Monitor off. Okay, yeah, so that's causing problems. All right, I'll just do it this way then. I don't need my game audio replicating twice. You still have you ever done the, Yeah, I'm here. Have you ever done the thing where you're streaming where you have your stream up cause, or you just have Twitch up because you had it up before and it like records your stream coming back <laughs> into your stream while you're recording? Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I've done that a few times. <laughs> I had a moment last night because <clears throat> I've been using... Um, instead of using OBS, I've been using Streamlabs OBS. Redundancy yeah. is that's absolutely true, Jonathan. <laughs> um, it just it lets you have the notifications. Everything's just built right in. You don't have to go and use a web client, you know. Yeah. And um. Uh. I can't menu and talk at the same time. <laughs> um. What are we talking about? Oh. <laughs> You had a feedback loop or something? Oh, well, I don't know that it was a feedback loop. But anyway, so, like, I've got all this crap in my room, and it generates heat. Televisions, game consoles, a lap, top. Also, my lap is in here, but it doesn't generate any heat. <laughs> well, I guess it does. I'm not dead. Uh, uh, so, anyway, I, I cut stream, but OBS, the Streamlabs, OBS doesn't cut the webcam and the laptop's got the little you know it's got the little light up there saying smile you're on camera you know and yeah. so I got done it was hot in me it was of course it was hot yesterday anyway it's blazing hot in here I'm gonna die because I'm not paying attention um so I cut stream and I came back I, I went and took my shirt off and you know I'm kind of large so nobody wants to see that but when I came back and sat down in front of my laptop, I saw that white light on. I thought, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God in heaven. <laughs> I've sat here and I've streamed my man boobs. Did your viewer base go up? <laughs> no, because I did actually cut stream. Oh. <laughs> uh. uh. But just for that one instant, it was that like heart sinking, yeah, simultaneous with adrenaline rush, and so your heart's trying to slow down and speed up at the same time. <laughs> That's pretty funny. John oh, didn't go man. play Xbox, dang it. <laughs> Did you play in his mature audience? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> You know, I'd highlight this as a clip if I hadn't been talking about my man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I think the kids are calling it moobs nowadays, Bodge. I'm just saying. Dude. <laughs> I, I'm not here. Boobs. I, I'm not here for the millennial wave. Oh, okay, okay. I may man be boobs. one, but I am not here for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, what about Yeet? Have you heard of that one yet? I, I cannot. One. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm such an old man. <laughs> I 
I don't know, man. I think it's supposed to be yeah. People just say yeet for some reason. You got me. I don't know what the hell it is. I mean, at least bay makes sense, you know. Yeah, true. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Mac great knows Zelda. all this. Ask her. <laughs> see you, see you, uh, streaming Zelda. That's freaking awesome. I love that game. Man, if I had a setup like you did, I'd probably stream some of those old games too. I think that's pretty cool. Do you do emulator any? <laughs> uh, a little bit. I actually, I tell you what, I used an emulator for most recently was um, my mom borrowed Lolo two, no Lolo three, and she was playing through it. And uh, she, John and I hate stuck. you. <laughs> <laughs> John and said, "Yeet is when a streamer strips unknowingly and oh, goes viral." Perfect. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Yeet. <laughs> um, mom, mom asked to borrow Lolo. She played. She played through it. She got stuck on a on a board, and so. I couldn't, she couldn't send me the, oh, I told her how to beat the board. She didn't believe that was how you beat the board. So I played to the <laughs> board, got through the board, recorded myself beating the board, and then sent it to her. I actually had Mac record me on her, on my phone, beating the level so that I could send it to her. You're going, you're going hardcore ghetto setup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hardcore. Yeah. What did you want me to ask? If Max got all these millennial questions to ask. I don't know. I'll say I'll just answer right now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he she wants to know if your stream is on fleek. I don't know what that means. Yo, if it's if it's after Twitter, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what about dab? Have you done have you done a dab yet? What is that? That sounds awful. Um uh, I actually know what a dab is. Oh, you got my stream that's up? That's that thing. Or did she okay. do it? She did it for you. She did it. Yeah. I kind I kind of do it on accident when I do my stream dance when there's like tunes playing. It kind of oh, It gotcha. kind of happens on accident. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, you got me thinking about this whole. I could I could get into some. I could get into streaming some NES if I could actually have a setup like you do. That would be pretty cool, actually. Well, you know, you know, and the thing is, too, let's see, studies have proven that having a twirly stash produces nine times more subs. Uh, a, twir a twirly stash? John a twirly John stash? We're not, we're not going for the handlebar mustache, dude. I know that breaks your heart. <laughs> Um, what were we saying? <laughs> don't know. Actually, I don't know. Oh, I was talking about if I had a setup like you, I would probably stream some NES oh, games. Do you still have your capture card, man? That's all you. Um, that's all I you really the, need. Uh, I have the what's the, what was the box? I, it's a box. Remember, I showed it to you. Yeah, you had like it was like a hoppage or something. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a hoppage. Dude, just run yeah, your. You just run your. I mean, it's. It's not going to be the video quality that a high definess is, but it still gets you streaming, man. Yeah, I think my problem with that one was I had some delay for some reason. I was running into some delay issues. Oh, I okay. Yeah, that, see. Some input, like input lag and stuff. I don't know what it was specifically. but Like, my big problem when I was using my old Elgato card. Yeah, that's right. You were using Elgato. That's yeah. Right which I had the same problem is like it's supposed to be an HDMI pass through which it absolutely yeah. is not because if it were an HDMI pass through on the one end the processing that you do to the video in the software would not show up on your television screen so right. you're, you're getting that you know what is it 55 millisecond delay it's enough to wreck you on uh, action games like this, you know, you can't, you can't play Zelda or Sonic yeah. or Mario yeah. with with a, with any almost any size. I can't anyway. Any sizable delay. No, and then it's like it's annoy it's an annoyance even if you're playing a game like Final Fantasy, you know, because you got that delay between when you hit something. Yeah. 
Um, when it actually registers. So what I what I do, what I did was I just got a splitter. So I send one signal off to the mm-hmm. Elgato, and then and the then other one out to the TV. TV, and that way I don't have any delay. Drinking sparkling water makes you. I actually ended up doing that with my hoppage too. Yeah. Why? Was, uh, <laughs> what about the hoppage? I said I, I, you know, I ended up doing the same sort of thing. I had to go buy a splitter, and I, it took me forever to find a place that had one. I'd go like Radio Shack and have them special order one at the time. Well, who who would have ever thought that RCA cables are not a sought after piece of cord? Right. I completely <laughs> agree. I've got a bunch because I'm not using them now because most of, most everything that I've got that's not out, outputting HDMI anymore or component is doing RGB. I've got yeah. some. If you need some splitters, I've got some here. I'd ship to you. Oh, I appreciate it, man. I think I think I actually can have that kind of covered if I was going to do I guess I could do that. I would, I man. think I was... Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Well, I might, I might. I might actually do that. We're, uh, we're in the middle of... Well, kind of, we're in the middle of buying a house. So, right Another... now things are crazy yeah a new, a new house yeah the, the house number two uh sweet for us yeah Congrats. so things are it's it's exciting but it's it's also crazy uh yeah <laughs> i totally i totally feel you on the whole uh uh money thing you said you were trying to trying to watch you watch your you're spending and spend responsibly i totally feel that way right now because it's like we're we're selling this place and we're not but we're not going to sell this place until after we get everything moved out of it and moved into the new place. Right, because then you're going to wind a, up at somebody's parents' house. Right. Which nobody so, wants. <laughs> there's going to be a period of time where we have two mortgages. It's just like, that scares the crap out of me. You know? I, I understand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want two mortgages. My biggest thing with the money, th- like, my situation is different, you know? Like, I'm trying to save up because... I've got that new gig and but I'm still not getting a whole lot of money yeah sure and I just at some point in time you've got to say you know don't be an idiot like I just did when I died oh you still oh you're in six now though yeah playing Rocket League too so I, I look over but I, I got you kind of a, a small Twitch doesn't really side window very well just no kinda... I wonder how some of the guys those guys like I watch um, oh John didn't say and he's got two mortgages and a land payment so he, fe- oh, he man, feels you yeah, yeah. But, yeah. I um, it, it, it worries me my biggest thing is I, I would like to get a place where I can offload some stuff. Just get get to a place where I can get in an apartment. Oh, yeah. Sure. Still be here for mom and dad, you know, but... You feel me? <laughs> Do you feel oh, me, yeah. bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about his... That's about his uh millennialists as I get right there. That's really not millennial. What, bro? Do, no. Bro is surfer. Me? Oh, do, do you, you feel, feel me? me? Yeah, that's, that's about as far as far hip as I go. That's, that's my hip words right there. <laughs> my, my hip vocabulary. That's as far as it goes. No. I do find mine... An office, yes, an office, something, something akin to that, kind of an idea. Oh God! Oh, find the three-headed one. Yeah. <laughs> one rupee. One, one big rupee for my efforts. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You're still poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think the like-likes are the most terrifying enemy of Zelda. 
what are those? Are those the? They're the pancakes that eat your stuff. Yeah. Okay. Pancakes. We call we call them hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you. I know what you're talking about. I see them there. We oh, call those. Uh, we call. Yeah. The only ones I really know the name of. Because I cussed them so much that I figured I should know their actual name. Which ones? The uh, the Lionels. The. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah. Those are. Those are something else. I don't think you were in here earlier, but um, another one of my buddies was in, in here earlier. His name's John, and uh, I was telling, I was talking to him. I think John, didn't you might have been in here too. Again, the value of hard work. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Lionel, they are the worst in every game. They really are. Because like this game, like if you wind up like. I don't so much anymore because I kind of know the map. But if you don't know this game and you wind up over there on the western edge of the map yep. where they're at and you, you've got like three hearts, you know, it's just rip. It's over. <laughs> yep, it's over. You're... Why? Are you going to play through the second quest too? God, no. <laughs> Come on, man! You don't like the you don't you don't you don't play through that one where the the things hit you and take away your sword until you go find the right color ones to get hit by to give your sword back. That would be a big old negatory. <laughs> I mean, that's some cruel. That's some cruelness right there. That's actually what I was getting to. John, John, and beat me to the punch. Um, the I love, even though what he says is correct. You know, like Lionels are worse than Ganon in Breath yep. of the Wild. But I love what they agree. did. They're nice. <laughs> it's a nice boss fight. Yes. Like I, like I, they're I, like the bosses of the overworld. They really are. I, I I like everything about Breath of the Wild. It's such a good game. Oh, I'm just so glad that Nintendo did such a good job on that game. I do. I I, I hope. My hope. My wants and hopes for the future of Zelda. Is that they can take uh, their hefty, fluffy, fluff, fluff of, fluff of, I can't read, I'm old, <laughs> fluffer nutters. <laughs> um, no, what, what I hope they can do is take the formula that they've got for not not the formula but the game mechanics take the game mechanics and apply that to the traditional Zelda formula yeah. does that make sense like take the open world approach to the world map and give me my light world dark world dungeons ah see what I mean okay. yep <laughs> yeah so yeah so it's it's funny because everybody's got a little bit of a different take on what the traditional Zelda formula is. Um, I like all, I like all of them honestly. I, oh yeah. Uh, I my my I think I think um a link to the past. I'm sorry. Definitely no, you're fine. <laughs> definitely one of my one of my favorite games. Which one? Um, link to the past. Dude, that's I, the best Link's one. Link's Awakening is. Link's Awakening is probably it's it's up there too. I don't know. I, I, I honestly have a hard time deciding which one which one is my favorite. John, I got a Link to the Past is mine, and then John, you were in here when John was in here earlier, right? Yeah. His is. Uh, I think just briefly, yeah. Yeah, his his fa his favorite all time favorite period. Nothing else compares is Link's Awakening. It's a great game, and he is super hyped about the remake. One thing I one oh me too I'm 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 really hyped about but you know what they've done you know you're kind of talking about like going going to that what I think they did with Breath of the Wild is they looked at the original Zelda and they were like okay oh that's absolutely this. what they did right because it's like you don't get any sort of I mean you get very you don't know where anything is you know it's like <laughs> everything's kind of scattered out and. Wait. Put where it's put. To, to me, it's kind of a response to what puzzle. 
the yeah. biggest criticism has been about them, especially with Zelda, but with gaming in general, I think that was their response to it is, you know, it's good that they've got the hand-holding there for people that don't game. That's great. Yep. But those of us that have been here forever, you know, shut up and let me go play. It's a sandbox. Quit yeah, telling me to exactly. hang from the monkey bars. Right. I'll go get on the monkey bars when I by God want to. Exactly. Yeah, no, I agree. So, you know, we we could we could see another game very similar to Breath of the Wild. Um, like verbatim almost, with kind of a different outlook. But we could they could also go the same path and go with Link to the Past this time instead of the original, you know? That would be really good too. Did you see was it Best Buy? Did you see the Best Buy leak? No. There was a leak on a Best Buy listing for Link to the Past. Hmm. What does that what does that mean? Are they re, are they remastering it or something? Who knows? Yeah. Because it, you know, it's one of those deals where like oh, oops, we're not supposed to have this out and they take it down. So it's it's either a mistake or it's not, but it was listed right next to Link's Awakening. Ah, I see. Okay. So maybe we're also getting a Link to the Past remake? Huh. Maybe. That would be interesting. That would I don't make... know. How do you how do you feel about that? Are you worried about the graphics? No. No. <laughs> no. Like Like what if they made it three D? Like what if they made it like, you know, like like uh like a chase camera like you got in Breath of the Wild. You know what? I I will be honest. I would not if they did it right. Which, you know, there goes my shield. Oh no, I got out of it. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. I thought, that, thought that one got you for sure. If they if they made I'm gonna die. Potion time. If they made Link to the Past a, rec a recreation of that world in Breath of the Wild's engine, I think it would probably... I don't know how they would lock stuff behind walls. You know what I mean? Yep, I don't know how they would handle that because you can climb everything in Breath of the Wild. Yes. But I... I am here for that kind of a remake of Link to the Past. But I'm, I would, I'm actually, if I'm being honest, I'd be a little surprised. Well, I don't know. I mean, not not with the recent success. But you know, they kind of they kind of gave us a glimpse back into Link to the Past with Link Between Worlds. Right, which that's that's one of the reasons why the fact ago. that that leak is there kind of boggles my mind is that was supposed to be the remake of Link's of Link to the Past. Right. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. John says a Link to the Past VR. <laughs> put it on the uh, put it on the Game Boy. What is it? The, the Virtual Boy. <laughs> the Virtual Boy. <laughs> you know the reports are actually that the Switch VR is not that bad. Hmm. Like the, these dudes I watched, uh, their channels Game Explained. Uh huh. And they they actually had pretty high praise for the VR games. So, I don't know. Take that for how what you may. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I, I there's some there's some games I definitely think would be really cool VR. Like, uh, I tell you, a game. There's uh, one of the, one of the mods. I told you I was playing a lot of Minecraft. One of the mods I played is called Skyblock. Uh. Oh. I don't know if you know anything about that, but. I might. Go ahead and tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically start off on this. I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you. You might already know this, but you basically start off on this tree that is in this world that has no ground. Okay, yeah. Um, those guys that me and Mac talked about that one time I came up there. The oh, this dude. 
um, the Yogg's Cast guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they did. They, they played it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. So, when I think about like that Minecraft VR, I think about I think about that, like that game where you're basically just standing on top of this giant, you know, this giant void. Boy, that, that would be some vertigo. Can you imagine like what that does to the game, like when you're playing it, like how? terrified you would be to like make the wrong step like i just think that would be really cool just you know i don't think i could play it I, d I know well i know that's the thing is like would you even want to play it like some people are like dude i couldn't handle it like i couldn't i couldn't stand playing a game like that it would just freak me out because like did you ever come to ibma when it was still in nashville no actually i have i have never been to ibma not once well uh I won't say anything because I'm on a public forum. Uh, <laughs> I've um, been to Spigma quite a few times, but never IBMA. So the hotel where they have it, give it, give it the same open air designs as Breath of the Wild, but just take away the climbing features so that the ladders, steps, ramps, etc., can actually still be in the world where they are supposed to be in ALT. Yeah, that would actually probably that's probably the best way to handle it, actually. But that takes away the best part of Breath of the Wild <laughs> and that engine. Um, no, okay, so the hotel there, the, the elevator, the, two, the elevators that go up and down between the floors yeah, is one of those open glass, like, okay, not, the yeah. not the floor, but... Everywhere else. Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm like, with you. When, it's, when it was... When I was younger, it didn't bother me. But the last couple times I got on it, um, going up didn't bother me. That that was actually kind of neat, but a couple times going down is like, uh, I'm gonna look at the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing too. I think a lot of people have to, I mean, like, game creators have to be mindful of too. Some people, some people like some games may not be a good fit for everybody to play VR, you know? No Koroks in Link to the Past. <laughs> um, have you ever watched Metal Jesus Rocks on YouTube? I have not. He does. He's, he did it a few years ago. Um, but he had, he had this guy on that talks about... And you've probably gone through the same stuff in your... Um, some of your classes but he talks a lot about the problems you have to overcome with VR yeah like um, he goes through like um, you have to consider what was it um, so like if you're moving in a car in your game but you, you know you're sitting still so your brain is saying Oh God, what's going on? And that's why you get motion sickness. Yeah. Or like, and I guess resolution's a big deal with it too. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you hear you hear people talking about that a lot. Um, yeah. I think there's a, there's a term for it too. It's like lo locomotion sickness. Uh huh. Or something like it's that. Something there's like some that. term for it. Yeah. I might have butchered that, but it's something like that. It's well, I mean, that's you know locomotion or locomotive it's, you're, I don't know which one it is but you're on <laughs> you're in the ballpark <laughs> um, but it's it is it's crazy is that have you I studied mean, any of that in your classes not really no um, I, I think I don't know uh, I, I think Caboose I think it's kind of new <laughs> it's kind of new technology it's new enough to where people are still a little scared to kind of institutionalize it you know and teach right it. um because it's new and typically new technology moves so fast that heck what they show you could be outdated by the time you use it you know yeah um but I, you know it's for, fortunately or in, unfortunately for me, I, I don't know that I'm going to care that much about it when I get out the indie scene just because, you know, I probably won't have... My games won't be large enough in scope to 
you know, implement that unless the game was designed specifically for that purpose. Yeah. Um, but still, I, I think it's incredible. Like, there's some really cool Oculus Rift games, man, that are just like, I think they're awesome. There is a secret in the tip of the nose. Well, I don't know where that's at because I don't have a map, old man. <laughs> um, I don't know, like... Unless it takes off, because VR still seems like it's in that... Excuse me. It still seems like it's in that weird place that 3D is in. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, I agree. It's not really... It's doing a better job than 3D has done of staying around... An endless run kinda, of VR. It still kind of feels gimmicky, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't really feel like it's... Yeah. It doesn't feel... I don't know. Necessary, I guess, is a word. I don't I don't know if necessary is the right word, but it is word. But it's also... VR is largely still a beta, beta format. You're a, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that statement. Like, I look at the VR stuff that we're getting now... Like, I don't know if this is a fair assessment or not, but, like, we've had two or three, like, resets of the console market. So, like, you've got your Atari era of games, okay? And, like, you know, yeah. the, people, the people that had them enjoyed them, but they're very rudimentary, right? So, yeah. then... You get... Please eat the bomb, you stupid idiot. So then you go to the NES era. Now they're starting to kind of figure out, I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Yeah, no kidding. Take my money. <gasps> That's a capacity upgrade, baby. Yeah. I'm all about the capacity upgrades. Um... Dead. What was I saying? Oh, uh, so, so then, the... so then you've got your NES, and they're they're better games, and then you get to Super Nintendo era, and like they've got that style of game. Like, you'd be hard pressed to say that they they got to designing those games any better than they were in that era. Yeah, yeah. agreed. So then yeah. they switch over to the N sixty four era. That's kind of like the Atari era of three D games. Yeah, and then you've got the PS2 era, which is kind of like the NES era, and then the 360 era is when they had everything perfect. Yeah, yeah. And now we're kind of back again to an Atari era type of thing with VR. Like it's kind of trying to figure out what it's going to be. Yeah, you have a lot of things to to accommodate for too when you're thinking about VR games like what is a VR game is it just in your eyes like what you can see what you can hear do you have to control actions with your legs and arms you know there's so many there's so many things to consider when you start trying to make a game that immersive yeah and see this is this is one of the things that I think <clears throat> will always hold it back at least as far as install base goes <coughs> I think the people that have the right idea on VR are like like over in, like um, in like these touristy places where they've got like come <coughs> to choke <coughs> hang on hold that thought I 
hang on a second. I, I gotta mute for a second. I'll be right back. Uh, your turn, huh? <laughs> So, John, then what are you playing on the Xbox? All right, I'm back. Sorry. <clears throat> but no, all I was going to say was before I died. <laughs> In the real world, IRL. All I was going to say was, um, like, these these 4D and 5D experiences, I think they've got the right idea where, like, of course, they they don't have the screen attached to your head, but yeah, where you get in the thing and it's actually moving around. Yeah. Yeah, completely agree. Yeah, because when you start thinking about just, like, if you start doing everything... It's kind of cool in concept, like in your brain, you're like, all right, that'd be kind of neat if I'm actually, you know, having a sword fight, I actually have to kind of learn a little bit about how to sword fight and stuff. And the Wii, the Wii and the Wii U, they did, they, well, the Wii mainly did that sort of thing. But um, the problem with that is picks, to get accurate readings, man, you need like all this equipment, right? And what are you going to do with all that? Like, it's no longer something <laughs> you could just tuck away. Yeah, <laughs> like so especially the treadmills. Right. right? So well, and it's like it's like the PSVR, you know, yeah. like you've got to have a PlayStation Four. Right. And then you've got to have all the crap to connect the PSVR to the PlayStation Four. It's just right. not. It, there's not a good solution for, and you know, I'm not hating That's on Sony, but there's just not a good solution for in-home consumption yet. Yep. Now, have you seen the Google Glass or the Microsoft? It's Microsoft. Microsoft Lens. That's what it is. The Hollow Lens. Have you seen anything on that? No. So that, I don't know if that project. John, do you know anything about that? Two years ago, maybe? A year mm -hmm. ago? Amazing, man. It so what amazing. is it? It's just, you know, it's a it's a headset, basically, but it does um, <laughs> augmented reality, so you you can see through it at normal, at everything, like a pair of glasses. Oh, okay. Like, like you're watching, if you want to watch Netflix, you can actually just throw it on the wall, and through your lens, it looks like you're watching the TV with Netflix on it, but you're not really watching the TV with Netflix, it's in the, it's in the lens itself. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Now, see, I, I actually like that a lot better. Yeah, because it's clean. It's easy, right? It's, yeah. I mean, again, you could tuck it. You could tuck that away. Oh you don't gosh. have to worry about a heavy thing to. Well, to and you with. don't have to rely <clears throat> on all these workarounds of the human brain. Right. You know, like it's just clear. It's just displaying. It's doing it's doing what the cell phones have tried to do, but it's doing it in a way that makes more sense. Oh my goodness. I hate you, game. <sighs> we just got ran on. Dang. I tell you what, I have been in a downward spiral ever since uh, yesterday. I've been losing like crazy. Rocket. Let's see the world build. <clears throat> Showcase some stuff in Minecraft in the Hollow Lens. Essentially, yeah, I've mode. seen Ready Player One. That's amazing. That's an amazing. I have not seen it. It's a, it's really good. Is it's it? um, it's based on a book, and what I hear, the book is better. But you you always hear that, you know, <laughs> books versus movies. I've not read the book, but. <clears throat> I've not done anything with it. I'm so salty right now. I got into the dungeon and then I got up to the monster that wants the piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> the grumble, grumble guy. Yeah, I ain't got no <laughs> meat. <clears throat> I see. All 
Alright, so where am I going to buy meat? Let me get my map out. Let's see, where's level 7 at? I'm right over here somewhere. No, I'm not. I'm down here somewhere. <coughs> okay, there's that. I need... I guess since I'm out, I might as well go buy potions, too. <coughs> And it's a hundred rupees. Good God. Oh, there. 60 rupees. That's where I'm going. So I still need to farm rupees, though. a misbehaving kitty. Yeah. Or at least a response to the misbehaving kitty. Let's see. 60 rupees. Where am I at? Okay, I'm in the right area. Oh, you didn't have to mute me. Or you, or whoever. Oh, you're fine. Uh... Oh, there was some loud nose and oh, <laughs> well, all, all I was gonna say is I like hearing people trying to discipline cats. <laughs> Entertaining. Yeah. Well, right, because you can't actually <laughs> discipline a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, should have got a dog. Farming time. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to say you're probably right about that, Jonathan. <laughs> probably not FCC approved and probably also not... Um, medically approved by whatever department that is. Not the FDA, but... It's also not budget approved. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> that, to me... And I'm not I'm not trying to poo-poo it, but that's, that's also kind of going to be a big hindrance for um, Google and... Uh, what's it called? What's this, what's their new thing called? Uh, you know, oh. Did you see that's uh, Google's streaming service for games? No, I haven't seen that. You didn't see that? No, oh, man, I'm way out of the loop. John didn't help me out. I know you know. Now they've done some of those. Google Stadia. I know they've done some of those game stations in Japan. <clears throat> yeah, well, Japan... Those kids over there, you don't mess with them and their gaming. Those kids are serious, man. You're right, you're right about that. They are, like... Like, it's been a professional sport for years and years there. It's no joke, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, they got dorm, dormitories and... Like, Everything. I hate to make it, like, a stereotype, but, like, I love watching those kids play DDR. Yeah. It just makes me feel insignificant about myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Google Stadia is basically, it's going to be Google's platform, but there's no, <clears throat> there's no hardware that you have to buy. It's just streaming. Yeah. It's game streaming. Like, uh, I don't remember. They had, they've got some games that are going to come out with it. But anyway, my point with that is, <clears throat> the biggest problem that Stadia is going to have to overcome is, which is much more in the short term than what we're talking about with VR. But they're going to have to overcome what John was talking about in chat about the money part. Because... 
sure, a lot of us have some swanky broadband. But there's a lot of folks that still don't. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's a lot of us that are on Comcrap. Which will yeah, probably sure. never let anything like that go through. Right, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, completely agree. So getting back to what you said, we kind of blew past it. You say you're... <laughs> you say the Rocket League times are not going so well? Oh, man. Yeah, they're rough. They're rough tonight. I'm so gonna... I, I keep yeah, putting it off. I'm gonna get on there with you. Dude, that'd be awesome. I'll make you we feel better about it. yourself. Oh, it's it's just fun, you know, to, to play. This game's a very kind of... It's just a lot more fun when you're playing with people, whether you win or lose, honestly. Man, that 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 is... That is absolutely my whole deal with games. The, the best time that I ever had played a game that I can think of was um, me and John in here in the chat and... Several, I think John was there, but anyway, several of us were playing New Mario Brothers Wii. Yeah, and of course that game multiplayer is hectic as heck because yeah. you got four people on the screen all at the same time. Yeah, but it's so fun, and that's actually what I enjoy about. You know, we're not necessarily gaming together because you're you're playing Rocket League, and I'm playing Zelda. But even even like with chatters that are in the chat, that's one of my favorite things about streaming, man. You get to experience this with someone. You know, that's that's kind of the oh, whole yeah. beauty of no, it to me. Makes a game just much more fun. Yep. Hey, Jonathan. Horse! Give me my horse back! Okay. No, 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 no. I need to go buy meat. Okay. I know where I'm at. <laughs> you killed my horse! Yeah, there was <laughs> there was a lot of salty Yoshi killing on that on that session. <laughs> not of not of our own Yoshis, but of the other other team Yoshi. Not the other team, but the other player. <clears throat> Do -do -do -do. Well, sometimes that happens. Wow. Oh, I don't have 60 I, I blew a block, and teammate blew a block, and then they were open. Feels Three of bad, them man. versus one open net. Huh? That's not good. <laughs> Feels bad, man. It does. It does. It does. Oh, hey, look. I've got you pulled up on my screen now. So I went from, oh, I just got this to Kenji. <laughs> Why do I suck at this game? Bad times? Bad times. Oh, that was nice. Nice move. I find that the skill level for the solo Q3s is much higher than the skill level for just the standard 3s where you can queue with people. You know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So what what do you mean solo Q3? So you can you know threes is kind of a standard right version of the game. <clears throat> you can queue. There's two different rankings, two different groups of rankings. There's one for solo Q threes, okay. which is just you queuing by yourself, and your other two people on your team. All right, you know, John, thanks for coming well. by, man. See you, John, and take care, man. Um, and. <clears throat> you can queue as a team of threes or team of two 
you know, more than one person, you can. Okay, so you you um, can you can queue with a party or queue by yourself. Yeah. I got you. Exactly. Yeah. And so in my threes, in that mode where I can queue with a party or by yourself or you know whatever, I'm platinum ranked, and in solo I'm silver. Like <laughs> I was gold earlier today, but it's just not been a good day. It's like the people at silver level do not play like silver level players. <laughs> I don't think. So. A little bit harder than they're supposed to be, huh? Definitely. Definitely. This is my first time, my first season really trying to play three seriously, though. Mm -hmm. um, I usually play twos, which, you know, I, that's what I was doing, I guess, the last time I was streaming was twos. I thought you'd moved on to threes. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could have been, maybe. Because I think um, you were trying to get serious with it, I thought. Yeah, it, it was one of those things where... Oh, dang. It was one of those things where uh, I probably got tired of getting beat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you I just abandoned it. it. <laughs> Shoo. You know... I'm gonna give you credit, man. I'm trying to watch your stream, but every time I look over, I get hit by an Octorok. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I catch, I catch glimpses of yours as well. <laughs> it's kind of tough. Kind of tough. We're You're, not uh, pro gamers yet, dude. Yeah, that's what it is. We're not pro. We've not, we've not gotten to the level where we can just go to GDQ and say, "Yo." Give us a spot. I love GDQ. It's I want to like go. Time of the year. I, I want to go one time. Yeah, me too. We ought to do that sometime. The the guy that I watch, Andy, that does the link to the past speed runs. That's not where I want to be. He, him, and another one of the link to the past guys are gonna do a um, a uh, <clears throat> a super met. I think I've got this right. I think they're gonna do a super Metroid. Link to the Past combo randomizer. Oh, you were telling me about that before. That is so cool. But they're going to do it as a multi-world. I think, I think I've got that right. I might have that wrong. but I, And what a multi-world is, that's where it takes... It takes both of your games. So, like, if you and I set up... Just for ease of thinking, let's say it's just Link to the Past. Yeah. So you and I have got our <clears throat> Link to the Past seed, and we set it up in this multi-world, and it spreads it, it spreads all, it mixes all the items between both games in our games. Okay. So like, yep. your bow could be in my game. <laughs> so if I pick up your bow, I, I have to pick up your bow for you to get your bow. Or and vice versa, wrong. like, well, my like my sword could be in your game. You've got to go get my sword for me. So when I get your sword, then you automatically get it. Right. So, like, okay. I guess That's a lot of weird. people a lot of people play it, like, on emulator. But if you've yeah. got, like, an like the um, SD to SNES where it's got a USB cable on it, yeah. you, can, you can hook that into your computer and it'll work with it, too. So you can still play it on hardware. People get crazy with those things. That's amazing, man. Uh, I think it's really neat. It's a lot of fun to watch. The too. first, it's the first really multi cool world. People have a reason to like go back and it's it's like the games are current again. I really like it. Oh, it's it's the best. <clears throat> like Link to the Past. I love vanilla Link to the Past, and I love to play it. But playing the randomizer, it's like you said, man. It just breathes a new life into it. Absolutely. I tell you what's fun. What a fun multi world is to watch. It's just it takes so long for him to do his Ocarina of Time randomized, but multi world because there's all those ice traps in those chests in in the ice cavern. Yeah. So you could just open up somebody else's ice trap in your game right in the middle, like they've got no health fighting. 
Uh, I didn't go by oh, the I... ding dang neat. And you open the ice chest, it just kills them there, and they've only got one hit left on the boss. <laughs> I should have hooked up a second controller. I could up A out of here and be fine. I forgot to buy the meat. Oh, good shot, teammate. Oh, I oh didn't go in. that oh. was a bummer, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I yeah, thought he had it. Got to that part, I, see, yep. I thought I he had it, and then it, it boop. There it goes. No, no goal for you. <laughs> nope. It's just been one of those days. It just doesn't want to go. It's like, come on. God. <laughs> ah! I'm so bad at this oh! game. Oh! It was so close. No. Ah! Get back! Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. Yeah. That's so sad, man. Yeah. Like you had it knocked out. It just uh, went in too hard. A runway left, man. That goal explosion is is the new is the new reward for this season. I, I like it. It's pretty cool. What is it now? The goal explosion that. Um, was there it's like a it's kind of like omni slash or something from final fantasy 7 did it not always know. do that no so you can you can customize your goal explosions oh you get different ones there's one my favorite one for this season though is called poof and it's this little bitty explosion that goes off after you score so that's goes, what that is <laughs> i was i've been playing it a little bit it just yeah. so why even bother it's like <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's like it takes the normal goal explosion and it's like microscopic. Uh -huh. This is so funny. <clears throat> that's something that's neat about that game to me too is like they didn't have to put all the customization like the game is solid anyway. But they didn't have yeah. to put all that customization in it. No, and this season is even better, man. They they this season they did weekly challenges, so you have like challenges that can give you experience, which is something I really liked about like Call of Duty games and stuff, where yeah. you have like something you're trying to do instead of just winning the games. Like it might put you in a in a weird spot. Like Call of Duty, it's like you know get ten kills with a pistol. It's like, well, the pistol's not a great weapon, but, you know, I'm trying to get this achievement, so it'll put you in weird situations, which yeah. is kind of neat. I need to get... I need to get that game out and just work at it and get good at it to where I can at least go online anyway. Yeah, um, I have not played Please. any of Black Ops. I, I, I wasn't a big fan of I Black mean, Rocket Ops. League. <laughs> oh, Rocket League, yeah. Go ahead with Black Ops, though. <laughs> yeah, um... But I did play World War Two, and I really liked World War Two, Call of Duty World War Two. I yeah. tried to stream it. Remember that? Like <laughs> it was awful because like I don't think I could handle it. My computer could handle it or something. I don't know what's going on. I might have missed that one. Uh, it was around about the time I was I was doing Conan Exiles. Okay, I probably missed it because I remember that was all last year, was wasn't PUBG. it? Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I'm so old, I forget what I did yesterday. I feel I you. Know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, was that a year ago? I or think it five was. Minutes? Well, probably the same. Because <laughs> um, I remember watching you when you were doing Conan, but we were so busy. Not with shows or anything, but we were just so busy doing PR work for that album. Sure. Yeah, we uh, we had a lot of fun out of that game, man. It, it was great. The Conan. Yeah. You built that staircase. <laughs> that, that was. I did some pretty ridiculous stuff in that game, actually. But it was amazing. We were both so invested in that staircase. It's <laughs> just a stupid staircase. It's like, the game did not want to let me do that. But we found a way. We got we got there. 
you're like game want in one hand <laughs> yeah exactly oh my god baby it's the map I know where I'm at now the anti fairies are wrecking my life but you know whatever <gasps> what is going on why don't I use the ding dang candle No. Eh. What if they like took what if they took Zelda like you're playing now, like the original Zelda, and they used the Unreal Engine to make everything like hyper realistic but kept the same camera angles? <laughs> you what know do you think about that? That would be kinda weird, wouldn't it? It would be weird. But at the same time, I think it would be kind of neat. <laughs> I think it would be too. Because that's, that's not too dissimilar what they're doing with Link's Awakening. It's true. Yeah. It's just, it's not hyper-realistic. Yeah. I kind of want to see actually it. What I'm, I'm using that in some of my game development class for the Unreal Engine. Yeah, you were saying it's... that. It's really, it's really good. Um, I wasn't using Unity for a game I was trying to make, but I decided to go with Unreal instead. Just Do people it's... just use it because it's easy? Is that the deal? Or... It's, it's just a different way of, you know, doing things. Okay. Same goal, but just kind of like, I don't know. It's a little more, gives you a lot more out of the box, I feel like, than Unity does. Okay. But Unity is very open source, you know, so it's kind of like, kind of like an OS sense, um, you know, like Windows versus Linux. Right. You know? Like Linux has got a lot of open source support and it's free. I got you. Um, same sort of thing. You know, Unity doesn't charge as much. Um, they charge a flat fee if you if your game makes over so much a year. Um, but Unreal Engine takes a percentage if you make over so much a year. So you do have so, to pay those companies for using their stuff. Yeah. I guess yep. that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, Un Unreal is, is definitely takes a bigger chunk than Unity, which is why I was using Unity. But then it's like, you know, if your game makes more than $100,000, and I'm like, dude, I hope my game makes $100,000. <laughs> come on. If, the game, if my game makes more than $100,000, I won't feel too bad about giving Unreal their, their cut. Heck, you can oh. you can take a break for a couple years. Yeah, right. Have you ever? It's on Steam. Have you ever played um, Game Dev Tycoon? No, but I've seen my friends playing that on Steam. I swear to you, that's one of the most addicting things I've ever played. Is it really? Yeah, because you get <laughs> in there and like you start off as like. It, it takes you basically through the whole history of gaming. So you start off like in the Atari, well, not even the Atari age. You start in like PC versus Commodore 64 age. And you, you make, like there's definitely a, 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 and you can exploit it and just do really good. But, like, you have to pick, like, well, am I going to develop this game for the PC? Or am I going to develop for develop it for the Commodore 64 because it's got a bigger user base in it? Oh, I see. And, yeah. And then it goes from, the, like, it goes through the whole thing. Commodore 64 is killing the PC. And then it comes back a couple of years later, like, the PC is making a comeback. Commodore 64 is going to shut down. And then it does. It's pretty neat. It's really, it, it's surprisingly addictive. Of course, you're doing the real thing, so that's probably not, not that's probably not your jam. <laughs> you know, um, no, I would, I, I like games like that. I, I, um, tycoon, tycoon type games, like business tycoon, and I think those games are, are really cool. I recently just watched, um, what's the name of that stream? Yeah. 
Jacksepticeye. Oh, okay. Um, do uh, have you seen the, ba the the total totally realistic battle simulator? Have you seen any of those? <laughs> I don't Man. think so. Oh my gosh, that is a genius idea. The graphic style, I just I like everything about that game. I just think it's so funny. Shoot me it's a link like, when you can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll send I'll send you one here in just a second. Yeah, you um, don't have you don't have to be in a rush for it. But I'm... Yeah, it, it it's great. Battle. I thought about picking it. Still, it's still um early access on Steam, uh -huh. but I thought about picking it up just. 15 bucks, not bad at all. No, uh-uh, that's, that's, that's what I, of course I had a bunch of points saved up from, like my Nintendo points saved up from Switch. Yeah. That's kind of like Bob, that game I was telling you about, that Baba is You. Yeah? It's, it's just this $15 indie puzzle game, and it's, I swear, it's one of the most creative things I've ever seen. <laughs> like, you're this little dog. Well, that's not entirely true. So it's called Baba is You, and Baba is this little white dog. And what the puzzle game is, is like you get these you get these like modifiers so like Baba is, so like in the game, like, like the first level first basic Babby level you get these three little words and it says Baba is you so when that's lined up Baba is you like quite literally the thing you're controlling is Baba and that's the little white dog thingy okay so then you get like wall is stop so if as long as wall is stop is lined up together if you run into a wall it stops you Ah, uh, okay. But if you move, like, if you move any of that off, then you can just suddenly walk through the wall. And, and, and it's two-dimensional. It's not three. It's two-dimensional. But then you can, you can, like, bring... And you can, you can wind up killing yourself, and you have to undo and back out of what you've done. But, like, you can come back and do, like... Like, you can bring all your stuff over. Like, wall is stop. You can bring your wall and your is over and put, like wall is Baba and then Baba is you so then the wall wall is Baba the wall turns into Baba's so now you've got like seven <laughs> Baba's on the screen but then it goes right. the other way too if you do it the other way Baba is wall it turns you your little Baba into a wall and you have to undo because the game's over I <laughs> uh, see it's, that, that's, that's some really uh good thinking that's like um it's the a, game brain when it came out like it was so far ahead of its time yeah it's like like that you know like like it's, it's a thinker game right <laughs> it's some hardcore logic thinking yeah okay there's there's some shenanigans going on here i'm stuck If I don't figure this out pretty soon, I'm gonna call it quits and cut the stream. Cause I'm getting fed up. You trying to figure out how to get out of seven? You trying to find the item, or what are you looking for now? Uh, I think I'm looking for the item, but I'm also trying to just figure out how to progress. Oh, I see. Cause I've been all through here. Not unless...
Did you win or did they win? Oh. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing that happens. It's been happening all day today. I got you. <laughs> Sorry, though. It happens. Just a good day. I'm trying to see if I can find this. Let's see, is this it? I'm trying to find the one that we watched earlier. It is hilarious. Like you you will laugh your butt off, I think. It's it's just got some random troops like <laughs> it's like there's these Bob Ross looking guys that push wheelbarrows. <laughs> Bob Ross looking guys. <laughs> And, the, no, and there's a guy time in when it's a Bob Ross looking guy. <laughs> there's a guy in the wheelbarrow that throws pumpkins at other people. <laughs> Bob Ross guys pushing him around. Are you serious? It's ridiculous. Are you uh, freaking serious? <laughs> oh, that's that's some bull crap, man. There's this room that's not even on the map. Oh, yeah. It's in the eye, isn't it? Is that where it's at? Uh, oh, God. Is that the one? Yeah, there's that, too. Hey, yeah. Where's A at, man? poopy. <laughs> There's your new word, Scott. Bull poopy. Bull poopy. That's something my mom used to say. Yes. Ah, yeah. bull poopy. Well, so much for it being new. That's, <laughs> that's what you say hey, when you want your... New you, man. That's, new that, you. That's what you say when you want your stream to be at least semi-family friendly. Ah, bull poopy. Bull poopy. So where am I going? here now. I'm trying to get back up to there. Okay. I am going to go raid that stash of rupees up there in the... Barry! <laughs> Dodongos! Leave me alone. Door link. I've noticed too tonight, I'm a lot more vocal when people are around. <laughs> <laughs> Get in that door. The urge to cuss the game is a lot higher. <laughs> uh, I think it's, uh, it's just being online with your buddies. Yep. I, I caught myself a couple times getting ready to drop a few words, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm good We're all good. That's what you say. <laughs> How do I get in that? Changed my profile picture to Black Mage from Final Fantasy. I oh. love it. He also looks strangely like Zendor from uh, um, from uh, not War Song, Gemfire. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, except for it's like it's like if Black Mage had a hood on under the hat, uh -huh. and he took the hat off, that would be Zendor. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, we'll play some hoops now. We'll see how this goes. This ought to be fun. Oh, hoops I'm awful looks already. like it's way harder. You know, it looks that way. It's really 
I mean, I don't know. It's it's different. Let's just say that. Right, I'm sure it's different, but it is it. It looks um, like it'd yeah. be a pain in the butt. The wall's your friend, especially early league play, because you know it's kind of how you get up there. Right. Defending is just a whole different ball game. Like when you're under the, when you're in the net trying to defend against people trying to shoot, it's weird. But it's it's hey. a nice change of pace. Okay. <laughs> nice change of pace when you're about to pull your hair out from soccer. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like this controller. Grown fond of it. What? No need oh. to break it. Yet. <laughs> I thought. I thought oh it was actually man, gonna be a it's rough in here. Dang. Getting bullied. I like how they do the sneaker sounds when you're playing in here. <laughs> like what the heck? <laughs> Who's got sneakers? Okay, I need to come back out. Uh, NES Maps is my friend. Have you ever looked at that website? I haven't. It's this website, nesmaps.com. Yeah. And they've just got these huge maps of old NES games. Like it's got the whole world map of Zelda 1 on it. Um, they've mapped out the entirety of the world of uh, Zebus from Metroid, the, the planet. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's neat. Dungeon maps for Zelda is everywhere. That's awesome, dude. I, I think that's really cool. Better than a strategy guide. Dude, do you remember the days when you had to use uh, Nintendo Power? <laughs> yeah. Well, Aww. that's this game right here, dude. Like, this is Offender Prime Offender number one. You know? Yeah. That's why I'm on here right now because they wanted they wanted me to buy those magazines and the thing is you can't buy that no more. So I'm just on here using free resources. <laughs> well, you know they used to have this hotline that you could call. I was just gonna say I remember the days when I had to call one nine hundred Nintendo. Yep. Or used whatever to have this the hotline. I don't, we only so me and my mom and dad used to all play some of these games together. You know, uh -huh. like, uh, ones that I was that I did videos of on YouTube, uh, like uh, Milan's Castle and Venture Island, and that was back when we, you know, were doing the Pixel Grease thing. And, yeah. Uh, the only time we ever had we ever had to call them was in Milan's Secret Castle, and it was uh, this part where you had to go in a well. And we had tried like all these doors and bank, you know, like using a hammer that we had to try to bust holes and everything. Like, we thought of everything we could think of. Oh, yeah. Except for going in the stupid well. <laughs> like, we didn't even think about that. But you know, that. Milan Secret Castle, when I was watching you do it, yeah. it was a lot like. the. I don't know how much, like, later Metroid, like Super Metroid, I don't know how much, like, it that is. But. How are you supposed to know to do some of the stuff in Metroid? Oh, I agree. Like, yeah, you, you can just it. bomb the wall, or you can just go in the wall. How are you supposed to know that? Unless someone tells you. Yeah, or you just do what we what we got in the habit of doing, man. Was just you bombed every wall. Like the first time you found out in Zelda that you could bomb a hole in the wall, you'd spend hours and hours I just mean, walking around in dungeons because there were no rules decided then in gaming you know like how do we know there's only one item in every dungeon we didn't know that yeah. you know it's like that's just an unspoken rule now in Zelda games but it's like crazy you know you're like wow oh, you know I can't get through dungeon 8 maybe I should go back to dungeon 1 and see if there's another item in there that can help me yeah. you know what I mean yeah. like, well I had to do that, that kind of in one of the dungeons earlier um, I had forgotten the pattern or whatever of how you're the order of what you're supposed to do. I had to go back and get it. Yep. Baby, level seven is gone. All right, on to eight, man. Yeah, I guess I might as well finish this thing out. You gonna finish it? I might All as right. well. I mean, the no, 
no fast travel percent. <laughs> <laughs> to quit dropping bombs when I want to use the ding-dang boomerang. That's something I ought to learn, is these guys at speedrun. Yeah. Zelda, they do some, something like this, and they wrap around to the other side of the screen, so they don't even have to oh, walk. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, they, do, they do something like this, Fairy. And then they just do this and they go over to the other side of the screen. Is it like, um, does it have to be a certain version of the game? Now that could be. It could be. What's that happen? It you know, like, kind of like you're talking about uh, Link to the Past, you had to have the Japanese version? Yeah, because that's what, that's what Randomizer is based on too, is the 1.0 version. That could very well be on this too. More reasons to buy an EverDrive. But not enough to justify spending $120 on it. <laughs> yeah. I will say, though, the two, the two that I've got, the one for the Genesis and then the SD to SNES, like, if you've got the money for them, they're worth it. Yeah, it certainly sounds like it. At least for the, at least for the, the high def, um, NES one. Well, the high like def, I would, that that's a whole nother thing unto itself. Yeah. The EverDrive is just like a really nice flash cartridge. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Like you can put your ROMs on it if you've got ROMs. Yeah. And like on an you just put it on a mini SD card and you put that in the top and then you put the EverDrive in your NES and bam there's all your games gotcha oh man level 8 but no the yeah. <laughs> no the, the, the high def NES man it's If you've it's got the great, if dude. you've got the money to so spend clear. on it, huh? So clean, it looks really good. Oh, it it looks like an emulator. It does. I mean, the high def like that's something that's been important to me in my setup is getting the fidelity like and and that's ridiculous to try and start off doing that like I did like don't do like no one should do that just if you've got the stuff and you can kind of get it running even if it's on a shoestring and paper clips use the <laughs> shoestring and paper clips yeah unless you know you've just got butt tons of money to spend you know then you know like you say you do you <laughs> right but uh, crap oh okay <laughs> um no, get, getting the highest fidelity that I could out of my consoles. So that was get, getting either a high-def NES mod or an NES RGB mod. And that's... The RGB is fine, but getting it straight into HDMI is going to be the least amount of lag that you can get on console. Because it's not having, like, if you do, if you run RGB, which is that weird European standard cable, yeah, you've got to have something to get it into your TV because we never had that here. Right, we didn't have that. Yeah. What does the book do? I don't remember it, there being uh, a book in this game. It makes your wand end with fire. <gasps> oh. Boop. Uh, 
so it does. <laughs> yeah, it's real handy, you know, so you don't have to use your candle all the time. You could just shoot the wand. Yeah. Kind of, kind of a weird time to get it. It's kind of like they were just like, you know what? We don't really know of any other cool items, so we'll give you this. This, this is fine. <laughs> That's yeah. This is fine. Yeah, th this will be great. You, yeah, you, you'll you'll use it twice. And you might have a dark room where you need to also shoot your wand for some reason. So great. Which actually, a lot of guys. Well, I say a lot of guys. I guess when people do swordless runs. Yeah. They'll wind up using the wand. Oh, well, there you go. Because they, they don't actually... I guess the, the swordless route is not necessarily dungeon order. With oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> no. Well, I tell you what. These guys are a pain in the butt, but having the magical sword makes it so much better. Less of a pain in the butt. Barry! Yeah, those, the blue ones, man, they're tough. Yeah. You know, those, those knights are really rough in Zelda 2 as well, Adventures of Link. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, let's be honest, everything in that game is tough. That game was seriously put on this earth just to torture you. I mean, it really was. That's, that's, they were like, you know what? One wasn't bad enough. <laughs> we're gonna fix it gonna fix it and, and you know I, I i can't say for sure because i've never played the japanese version but they yeah. they changed that game significantly for here like the way exp works and the way levels work and all that yeah and i think like made it made it easier no oh harder yeah like i okay no one. I was gonna say, you mean to tell me there's a harder version of that game? No, out? I mean to tell you that they screwed us. <laughs> um, I could be wrong on this, but I think, like you know how when you die, like you're all the way back to sleeping Zelda. Yeah. You've got to get all, uh, except for when the final dungeon. They were not. You're saying dungeon. when you lose like your last man? Yeah. 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 When you lose your last man in the Japanese version, I think it leaves you at the dungeon you're in. I'm not totally sure about that, though. That's that... I probably shouldn't yeah, that, talk about stuff that I'm not sure about. Yeah. If that's true, that's pretty... That's pretty... That's a big deal, actually. That's effed in the A, man. <laughs> man, that part... That part where you have to... Uh, that part where you have to get through the swamp... To get to the last dungeon. Oh, Death Mountain! Stuff. Is it Death Mountain? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I mean, yeah, all those awesome. little folks are throwing flaming yeah. rocks at you. Yeah, and then you have like the you have just it's just a. Oh, I just get frustrated talking about that game. Mm -hmm. It's it's so rough. It will give you anxiety, big as Texas. Well, man, and then all the mini bosses in the final is the final dungeon are so tough like each one of them is tough I know it I have intent because I haven't played through Zelda 2 since when we had it when I was a kid so like this whole I've kind of abandoned it as being like the thing but it's still kind of the driving force behind I'm gonna die it's still the driving force behind what I'm doing here on Twitch yeah. Like playing these old games. Yeah. Because I want to play through them and beat the ones that I haven't beaten before. Which Zelda 2 is kind of sideways included in that. Yeah. But I dread it so much. <sighs> it's rough, man. Like, like, j like you said, just thinking about it is... It's like, why do I hate yeah, myself? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, even when you think about, like, the hit mechanics in that game, like, when your character gets hit, how he gets knocked backwards, that's enough to make you mad, you know? Like, it's just, like, all that kind of stuff is just, like, are you kidding me? I tell you what, I don't think, I played, when I played Castlevania, for oh, when I was yeah. still doing YouTube, I don't think, if I, if I think if I'd have been playing that on an NES cartridge, I don't think I'd have made it. 
I think I would have quit. Yeah. Cause, cause I thought you were going to say you didn't think it was going to make it. Like you pulled it out of there. What, uh, yeah, stopped. while the power's on, like hoping it'd short out the PCV. <laughs> No, I don't. I, I really believe that I would have just given up and said, I can't beat this game. I think the last time I played through Zelda 2 was probably about 12 years ago. I did play all the way through it, though. I was very frustrated and glad to be done with it when I finished it. If I, I think I, I'd have to go and research what I said, but I think if I was going to play through, the only problem is all the text is in Japanese. But if I yeah. could, if I could track down a Famicom disc system, and then a copy of the FDS version of Zelda yeah. Two, I think I'd play it. Yeah, or just play it, play it where you can save state. See, well, now that's that's a thought. Although I see that's that's where I get kind of silly i want to you don't want to save state hey that's not silly no i don't not have a problem with safe stating because that's the only reason that i beat castlevania <laughs> yeah i don't i want to play like castlevania i'm not too upset that i'm not going to wind up playing it on the cartridge that i own because it doesn't save but zelda gotcha. 2 is a game that does save and i'd like to oh, have my save on my cartridge so like I said, it's a little silly. That heart just despawned on me. Well, you know, I mean, I think we've been over this before. Like, I I'm a little silly about things like that. Like, I would prefer to play the game on a cartridge than anything. Man. Like, I, I prefer to play, I want the actual cartridge, the actual NES, the actual, you know, troller. I want it all. In the same way. I'm going to go back and play it. I'm, I'm going to play it like I played it, you know. I want to see if I'm still as good as I was back in the day. The answer is almost always no, but, you know, still. My brother. <laughs> um, tenth enemy has the bomb. What? Yeah, so apparently every, every oh, tenth enemy. Oh, that's, you know, okay, that's the global counter thing. I yeah. watched the guys that I watched run this do that. Well, I guess I'm going to go in here and fight the boss without getting the master key. And I'm not entirely certain how to get down to the master key. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Well, I'll just go in here and kill him and then be done with it. Let's see. I'm going to get on my potion. Because a death is most certainly guaranteed. Please? Yay! Now I've got all my hearts. Bada boom. Bada boom. So, yeah, with that in mind, though, I still might consider playing that, but on the NES Classic. Oh, there you go. Dude, I, I didn't get an NES Classic. I have an SNES Classic, though, and I have to say, it's pretty dang fun. Dude. I didn't think I would like it as much as I like it. I really do like oh, it, it's, though. Both of those things are absolutely worth every penny. It's like, I can have them hooked up to my monitor, my computer monitor here, and just switch over and play something on Yeah. On the, you know what I mean? It's so lightweight and little. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to sell it or not. I've got a spare NES classic here. I bought it. Really? I bought it not 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 to not to scalp it, but I bought it because yeah. I knew people that were wanting it. Oh yeah, You're kind of reserving it for somebody. Yeah, so yeah. I just grabbed yeah. it so that I could, you know, like here it is. This is what it costs with tax and all that garbage. But yeah. that never did happen. So, like I said, I'm not certain that I'm allowed to sell it. That sounds like an odd thing to say, but... Well, if you find out you are, I might be interested in buying it from you. Well, 
if if you want to sell it and you can sell it. Yeah, I just sell Understood. it. I'll just sell it to you at the cost that I got it for. Um, because they're not going to be making those wants. anymore. Yeah, no, I know. I, I I heard they're also aren't they planning on doing one for the in the N sixty four next? Uh, it's not confirmed. Oh, it's not confirmed no. yet. No. Um, where am I? I want to bomb up through here. Yeah, it's not like they registered that trademark for that like little controller icon, like they did the NES and the SNES. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Nothing's ever been said about it. Gotcha. Like even they've said, like Reggie said, we're not doing this, which you know he wasn't gonna say that they were and not them not be ready to, you know, do any do press it. behind yeah. it. Yeah. Here. Please open your eye. Thank you. Oh, he's not a one-shot kill. Um, I'd like for them to do an another one because there's a lot of N64 get like that's one of those odd ones where it, the uh, the cost has got, kind of gone up disproportionately on those games. Yeah. Like um, the Saturn. like Se Sega Saturn, those games are ridiculous because there's just not a lot of those games out in the, the wild and 64 is kind of like that, I guess. But there's also games, you know, it's got like Banjo-Kazooie and all those things on it too. Yeah, but so like the the sixty four a sixty four classic needs to happen. Yeah, I agree with you one hundred percent on the Saturn thing though, because I, I was like, I always thought whenever I was younger, I was like, you know, when I get Saturn, I'll pick one up, and because I just didn't have, you know, it was like there were so many Sega consoles out, you know, it was that crazy Sega phase where they were just releasing consoles faster than they were games. Just yeah, about. and I was just like, you know. I just can't I just can't pay pay for this console right now I'll get it later of course you know nobody nobody could have known well and you know the thing too later is that happened. just happened in like what the last five years or so yeah so it's well but you know they were hard to find before then though I mean I, I had a hard time finding them anyway I just never could find anybody even the console like people just wanted too much for them, you know it's just like even back then yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I, you know, they were scarce. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't gonna pay what people were asking. Well, you know, so, too. The other thing. Yeah. The other. I know. I know they used used to be you could pick them up at a retro store, but like I said, this is back like around 2012. You could get yeah. them for like 60 bucks. Really? Yeah. That's the consoles anyway. And the con—I yeah. think the consoles are still kind of cheap. The games are not. Yeah, yeah. There's there's some games that are crazy expensive. Yeah. Do you They're remember like the Panzer Dragons and? Uh, well, the one that's uh, so crazy is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. But I think part of that is because they lost the source code on that, and that's why there's no ports of it anywhere. That'd definitely do it. Dang, I didn't know that either. Makes sense though. Yeah. So that and then you know, there's people that regard it as the Final Fantasy VII of the Saturn. So it's yeah. it's got a lot of things driving its cost up. Sure. But, but like Sonic R, everybody hated Sonic R when Sonic R came out. It's a hundred and twenty dollars on eBay if you can find it. <laughs> Yep. Sonic Jam's the same thing. Of course, to be fair, that's some of the better ports that's been made of the original trilogy of Sonic games. But it's the same way. It's just Sonic 1, 2, and 3 and Knuckles on a CD. But it's $120. Yep. The one I'm wanting. Man, to get. I tell you what, when Sonic, when Sonic and Knuckles came out, that game was like a, that was a, that was a 
cha flip your world upside down kind of game. I thought I thought that game was amazing. It was, man. When you put it and um, when you put it together with Sonic Three to get that whole full game that was supposed to be Sonic Three, but they couldn't do it on one cartridge because reasons. I don't know. That yeah. that whole thing is just. Because, you know, it, I don't know, I just, I got no words for it, because it, it was the same thing for me, you know, it just, because I beat Sonic 3 before um, Sonic and Knuckles came out, Yeah. but then Sonic and Knuckles came out, and it was almost like a step in, the, the step backwards, because it didn't have a save function on it. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah, but then, you know, you lock it on with Sonic 3, and it still felt like a step backwards because, you know, you lo you, you hook it into Sonic 3, and it's like, well, let's just start me at the beginning of Sonic 3, but now I can play as Knuckles. What's what's good about this? I'm not getting anything. But yeah. then when you go through and you play through Sonic 3 and you're expecting the uh, that final boss of Sonic 3, the hand that smashes you down... You're expecting that, and then it doesn't happen. And all of a sudden, a cutscene starts playing, and then it drops you in the middle of Sonic and Knuckles in Mushroom Hill Zone. And it's like, yeah. holy crap, dude. And then suddenly, you've got a Sonic and Knuckles game that saves. <laughs> and, you know, the thing where you turn in the all the Chaos Emeralds in there were at Hidden Palace Zone, and you can power them up to be the Super Emeralds. Yeah. yeah I, I, I can gush all night long about Sonic 3. <laughs> I like. I really like Sonic CD, too. I thought that was a great game. Dude. We were talking about that earlier. Sonic CD, I... Like, it's... You hate to put one at number one and one at number two, but Sonic CD is, like, my number two. Oh, God. I forgot how anxiety driving oh, that music man. was. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to get back to the gaming. I've been listening to Scott and also trying to figure out how to get to the red ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the red ring. Oh, that's that's the part of the game right there where you just you feel awesome. Yeah, yeah. Because anyway. nothing you're can like kill you sister. quite as easily. Yeah. All right. Oh, that changes things. Not a lot. It definitely changes things. That's so I'm going up and over one. And of course, this room has like likes in it. Go away. No one likes you. I don't care what your name says it is. That's something fun <laughs> for me, too, going back and playing these old games. The old games of long storied franchises yeah check out Moldorm yeah like it's fun to see where these enemies came from oh I completely agree but you know what Breath of the Wild played so well on that they were so smart in how they chose to like they took the characters from the classic games and just they breathed new life into them well know? like we were talking about the Lionels earlier that yep. same deal. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. I got scared. So now I'm going to go times. all the way over to where the Patra is. And I'm going to go down. And then I'm going to go over. And I'm going to go up. All right. All right. All right. God bless him. Hey, I still got my shield. Hey, you know what works good on those guys? Bombs? Your wand. Your wand. Oh, you're right. Melt yep. those pancakes right off. That's right. Liz Rose. Make that a well done burger. <laughs> I don't know what track this is in Rocket League I'm listening to, but there is a dude just getting down on the sacks right now. Oh. <laughs> Wearing up a wheel, man. Get down. All right. 
good game soundtracks make such a difference. They really do. Ouch. Ow. Good night, dude. That's something that Square always hit the nail on the head with, in my opinion. They just, you never, you never had to worry about whether their soundtracks were going to be good. They were always phenomenal. All their games, I we, felt like. You know, you and I have talked about, Lord help. Lord help. Oh, man, that looks fun. Mm. Oh, that those rooms are awful. That's a negatory. <laughs> okay. I don't think the wand does damage to the wizards. You, you would be correct. <laughs> uh, drink, drink your gummy juice there, buddy. <laughs> My gummy berry juice. Yup. Shout outs to 1980s cartoons. Oh, I was thinking about, you know what I think would be cool? Mac has got a piano here, a keyboard. Uh-huh. Um, it would be cool to learn like some of those old jingles and play them on the keyboard. Oh, dude, I almost I have so much time on my hand, hand sometimes to think about stupid stuff. Like I don't know how I get anything done because I'm always thinking about dumb things. I understand. <laughs> we we were riding home from that trip in that new gig that I've got. Yeah. We were riding home, and um, it was how it's like I'm in the right band. I'm absolutely in the correct band for me. We, <laughs> uh, did, do you remember watching The Jungle Book, the Disney animated? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we were going down the road, and th my bosses, they're, they're very – they like animals. So they saw yeah. the one the – one, if one saw an animal, they'd say, oh, look, a cat or whatever. It's like, oh. And so – there was one that, oh, look, it's a buzzard. And like, she, ew. Like, she wasn't into that. <laughs> but when I said, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a vulture. It's a vulture. That's what it was. Look at the vulture. Ew. But when I did that, I did that thing. It was like, so, what you want to do tonight? <laughs> and without hesitation, she, she, my boss answered back, I don't know. What do you want to do tonight? I was like, yo, I'm in the right band. <laughs> We're getting yeah. Disney references without having to talk about it. Yeah, without having to lay it all out there. Yeah, yeah, but the other part, then we started talking about those old Disney Saturday, Saturday morning cartoons, and we started listening them off. Yep. And someone mentioned gummy bears, and I come within a hair of just busting out, gummy bears, bear yeah. to here, there, and everywhere. Dude. I didn't do it like I did just now, but it was all I could do to withstand it then. If I could just, if I could just like close my eyes, it, I could just close my eyes and think about that theme song, and I'm totally like whatever age I was the first time I ever watched this. <laughs> Ain't show. it the truth? It's amazing. Ain't it's it amazing the truth? It like, it's like, gosh, that he had Ducktales, he had Tailspin, Tailspin. Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. Gosh, he, those are cartoons of the past, man. Some crimes. Go slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes. I don't right, remember man. the word. There's no I'm case too slack, big, no case, no case too case small. Big, when yep. you need help, just call ch 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 <laughs> I sit here I and sing that. every one of these. I think that one time. One time in the shower, and Mac was like, "What are you saying?" <laughs> like, oh, come on! That's one of the. It's like, look, you don't understand. You were not alive during the greatest <laughs> yeah. time to be alive as a kid. Seriously, it's like you don't the greatest, understand. The greatest thing ever is what it was. They're gonna play out, supposedly, allegedly, but who really knows? Except the Russo brothers. Dude, we're not far away from from Endgame either. I know. It's just like a week away or something. I didn't get my not tickets. Week, is it? It's like the twenty fifth. Yeah. Is that right. How did I just make that up? Yeah, twenty fifth. Is Endgame twenty fifth or is that Detective Pikachu? <laughs> I, I don't know. That game, that that movie actually looks really good. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw uh, an article the other day. It said Nintendo has figured out. Like they're gonna lift the curse of bad video game movies. I hope so. 
most people have never, nobody that I'm really aware of has been able to break the bad curse of video games. <laughs> the Mario Brothers movie. Like, I still have a soft spot for it in my heart because I, I loved love it as a kid. I love the Mario Brothers movie, but it's awful. It's I terrible. Mean... <laughs> It's the worst pile of crap that's ever been produced, aside from anything that Michael Bay made with Transformers and Turtles. <laughs> yeah, terrible. I don't. It's like it's like somebody was just like, let's just let's make a movie, and we're just gonna close our eyes, and we're gonna open our eyes at random points, and we're gonna say the first Mario word that pops into our heads and point at something, and that's what it's gonna be called. <laughs> it's like the Goombas. Like, what in the hell? <laughs> Dude, the Goombas, man. <laughs> oh, that. Like, they're movie. just people that have been. What? What? Uh, that got run through a machine and got turned stupid. Yeah, it's like, shrunk their heads. They have little bitty. They have little bitty like lizard heads. Like they have lizard heads. I know. Or something. Like, what does that have? Like, that's not what a Goomba <laughs> is. So a Goomba is supposed to be like a mushroom. <laughs> Yeah, and then you got you got King Koopa. He's not a king though. I mean, he's not he's not a he's not a <laughs> turtle Bowser thing. He's he's a person. Did you ever watch VR Troopers? VR Troopers? I don't think so. It was, it was it was a I think Saban did it too. Like they were it was another Power Rangers thing. Like they brought over Japanese oh, okay. footage and then put like the bad guy that they hired the, the American actor like he looks like that dude it's like man you gotta do better than like I love VR Troopers hi Ash Ketchum sorry I'm sitting here too long and dig bomb gaming we wouldn't <laughs> we... Sorry, That's sorry true. I missed you guys there. I've been staring that, at a map trying to figure out how to get to the silver last name is Mario. He brings up a great point, actually. He he does. I do Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Luigi Mario. Classic. I don't even I just don't even I do apologize might, for missing you guys' chat. I might have to go away and vomit for a minute just talking about that. Well, <laughs> now don't don't offend my two viewers that I've got here, man. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they've already got good reason to leave I've, i ignored them <laughs> and i've just been sitting here staring at a map with my menu open good job on second quest though man that's more than i'm gonna accomplish uh and then what like what is going on with King Koopa? Like, or King Toadstool? Like, what hey, does Dig, that, Dig what Bomb, does that that's, even... that's my favorite part about doing the streams this way. Like, where I've got a buddy of mine on with me. That's my favorite thing. Just basically podcasting. <laughs> I love it. And, Ash, if you're... I, I hope you're better than me. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Scott. No, you're fine. I, it's just like, what? Seriously, though, what happened to... Where am I at? Why is, why is he a fungus? <laughs> what, why? And what is he supposed... Like, what are they... It's like they didn't even play the game. I know. Do you remember the tone <laughs> of voice that you had when you played that one game? For Pixel Grease's YouTube channel. What Basically, game was it? I don't remember what it was. It was was, was like, it Air Fortress? No, but it's like you oh, said. You what is wrong with this that game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Like, I'm gonna die. Okay, so what do I need? To do? I don't want to die. I'm just gonna run through this. I'm gonna go up here. So when you did, how hard was um, how hard was level one on quest two, Ash? Y'all can feel free to jump in on this conversation too. I don't mind people talking. I love talking to people. Oh gosh. 
Yep. You got it. Just that's, take blue that's, gummy bear juice. That scared me. Because <laughs> I thought the whole screen had turned grass. Like, I've glitched. I've found a glitch. I found a game breaking glitch somehow. <gasps> Look at that. The game so, trolled me with a clock. <laughs> so I uh, um, Get your gummy berry juice. was playing drop shot here against another three and uh -huh. realized at some point that I was actually a blue car and not a red one. And Very I funny, played for the red team all the time. Oh gosh, <laughs> dude. And I kept seeing what a save, what a save. <laughs> he just spammed. <laughs> I've got to look dumb on stream right now because I'm like putting my finger on my screen. <laughs> I'm going back to playing some more competitive. Maybe I'll so win some solo Q3. Well, we'll as the old saying goes, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> G. H to G. So where's G at? This dungeon is ridiculous because it's like I've got the NES maps map pulled up and it's just a block of blocks it's a good thing you got that book last level though Man, that's a game changer yeah although I still haven't used my wand <laughs> so so I don't know how much I agree with your statement <laughs> no I was being facetious <laughs> Smart Alec. Or, or, or how about this? There's got to be another spell in that book better than just making the end of your wand turn into fire. Well, I mean, all the all the wise sages in Zelda 2 had better spells than that. <laughs> like, what about teleport to wherever you're thinking? And then you could just go <laughs> teleport to Ganon. There you go. See, well, now you're a wizard. Fixed well, it. See, there is a spell for that. It's called Game Genie. Game Genie. <laughs> you have found the spell book of Game Genie. Tell you what, I've used that a lot as a kid. Um, G. Is that a G? That's a G, baby. So I gotta come down here. I ought to take a Sharpie and put it on my screen. <laughs> I'm at silver, so F brings me out here, and I go back down to E, and then E, I go up and over and up, and pray I don't die. Oh, I hate any fairies. That's one thing, man. I hated any fairies in Link to the Past because yeah. they drained your magic. But I think I would take my magic draining over top of deactivating my sword every day. Yeah, it's tough. At least, again, though, at least you're not fighting the ones in the second quest. Shh. We're not going there. <laughs> I'll host Dig Bomb. Dig Bomb, yeah. start streaming. I'll host you. You do second quest for me. <laughs> Dig Bomb, you're going to love them in the second quest. They're or, or, they're, no, they're no, good. I'm sorry. Not Dig Bomb. Ash. Ash Ketchum. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Ash is the one that's playing them. Yeah. yeah, sorry. I screwed that up too. Totally my fault. If you can't tell, I'm bad at streaming also. <laughs> Shoot it! Oh. Random realization. That's almost the same sound effect as the um, transforming sound in Super Mario Bros. 3. 
Like when you've got the raccoon tail on and you get hit and you lose it. You're right. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's what I want. Here's a real question for you though, Bosh. When you play Rocket League, do you play with a topper on? I don't know what that means. A hat. Dude, I just now start I just now loaded it up on Switch. I don't have anything. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you probably heard me tell you this. I can I can totally hook you up with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> That's I what you were saying. Free. It's ridiculous. Dig bomb like likes are like likes and the dang pumpkin from Link to the Past. They can go jump in a hot bed of lava for all I care. I don't know what the pumpkins from Link to the Past are called though. Oh, we were talking about putting stuff in Breath of the Wild's engine earlier, Scott. Yeah. Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I would love for that. You game. know that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too much of a stretch either, really. No. I mean, they wouldn't have to change a lot of the core mechanics of mm -mm. Ocarina of Time because it's already kind of in that format anyway so it wouldn't, wouldn't be like you'd have to redesign levels you just have to watch out for climbing and stuff yeah like for me like as much as I love Ocarina of Time it absolutely would but and I hate to do this because I know people still love Ocarina of Time just like I do and they take the same offense that I do to saying this but it did not age well it's hard to go back and play that game what did I do? What did I do? I did something bad. Where am I at? I'm <laughs> not where I thought I would be. There's G. Oh, I went up here to G. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just kind of dumb. Eh. Get in the hole. Yeah, what do you, is that? Is that good? I've heard a lot of people say Resident Evil 2 is really good with the with the redone graphics. Like it's very playable now. Let's see. Exactly like that. that exactly like that. I haven't watched Resident Evil 2, but I watched someone play the first one. It looks amazing. Like, those aren't my games. Like, I'm not down for being scared. Because <laughs> Zelda does enough of that for me, but they look great. Oh, dear God, it's a Patra. Patra. really need to score all right man watching the speedrunners take out a patra is so crazy they like get right up on it and just like wail on these little buggy dudes i'm so scared because i know i don't have any potions So I'm trying to be careful because I know Ganon's right behind that door. The original, yeah, I can see how that would be. All right, so what's, what is the, I don't know how to beat Ganon. I've forgotten. Keep swinging your sword, man. Is that it? He's invisible, you just keep swinging away. And then when yeah. he turns blue or whatever, shoot shoot him in the face. Yep. Uh, it's, he actually, he's brown. Oh, right, brown. It's brown in this one. I'm so... Oh, that was so close! Oh, I... 
There's one. I'm playing Rocket League, by the way. So if you guys are, what the hell is he talking about? Yeah. You'll, you'll know. <laughs> Just realize it might be a, might be a little weird. Got him. One more. It's one more, right? Three hits. Nope. You need another one. Get this him again. Means. It's not three hits. No, so disappointed. No, Five hits, six hits. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's one. He's at least one more hit. Baby. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and oh. girls. I'm just going to kill all the fire. Another game beaten from my backlog, which this isn't really in my backlog, but... Whatever. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Ba -da -da -ba. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Eh, that translation wasn't too bad. No, it's better than the. Uh, um, <laughs> it's better than the opening text. It's like what I forget. What else they say? But Prince Darkness Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> you know they have Dig Dig Bomb. You know they have. Another quest will start from here. Press the start button. How about select? A, B, left, yeah, what up, happens down, if right. You die by the, what happens if you die by the fire? You've got to walk all to the way back up, again? baby. <laughs> You should, you should totally. That, that would have been funny. No. What if you would have just had one heart left and you would have just been like, bam, ran right into it? No, I, I don't agree with you. 